show you how to etch a PCB or printed circuit board. Before we begin, let us define what is PCB. A PCB is a tin board used to mount electrical components. It is where the electronic design are being printed before etching. Okay then, so what is PCB etching? PCB etching is a process of using chemicals to recover traces from many different mechanical components and circuit boards. What are you waiting for? Let us begin! Let's go! So here are the materials that we need for PCB etching. 3 by 3 single-sided PCBs. In this video, we will use 3 PCBs for making 3 designs. Etching solution, we will use ferric chloride in this video. Empty Tupperware Masking Tape Cutter for cutting masking tape A stick or anything to move the PCB immerse in the solution A pair of scissors A glue Three designs for the PCB and we printed it from the computer We also recommend you to use a pencil pen and also surgical gloves for our safety since we're dealing with chemicals. Okay, let's show the procedures. Step 1. Cover the PCB with 3 to 4 layers of masking tape. Let us press the tape so that it will stick well in the PCB. Continue to put masking tape on it until it covers the whole PCB. Repeat this for the next layers. We will make 4 layers of masking tape in PCB for this tutorial. Do this for the other 2 PCBs and this is the result. Let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. First, cut out the printed design from the paper. And then, Paste it onto the PCB. You can also draw the designs manually if you want to. Repeat the steps for the other two. This is the result. Step 3. Cut the edges carefully using a cutter until all the masking tape are removed, remaining the lines for the design. Let's do this first for our first design. It is your own strategy on how you will cut the masking tape easily. You can also put a pencil pen so we can easily see the design as we immerse the PCB in the etching solution. The first design is done. Let's continue this for our second design. Sometimes, this can be a struggle because the tape and paper may be torn, especially if it is small. Now that the second design is done, let's continue with our last design. This design is the hardest among all three designs.
cutting the masking tape on the PCB really takes so much time depending on the design. Okay, we are done with the tier design. Let's move to our next step. Before we proceed to the next step, let's wear surgical gloves for our safety because we are now going to deal with chemicals. Step 4. Pour the etching solution in the Tupperware. and then carefully immerse the PCB in the etching solution. Let's put our first design. And then carefully shake the topperware so that the solution flows and the copper will melt faster. We can also use a stick to move the PCB. Immerse the PCB in the solution until it becomes yellowish in color which means that the copper has already melted. Let's check again. As you can see, since the PCB changed into yellow color, it's time to remove it from the solution. Let's repeat this step for the other two designs. Step 5. After we remove the PCB in the solution, let's wash the PCB to remove the chemical. Let it dry after. Repeat this for the other PCBs. Step 6. Now, let us carefully remove the masking tape we designed from each PCB. Let's first see the result in our first design. Okay, it's done. Let us see the result in our second design.
it is all right too. And then for our last design, it looks good. Okay, guys, we are done with our designs. We are done etching the PCB. Actually, there are more steps and methods in doing this, such as designing circuits using a software and drilling holes. We will not show it here, we just show how to edge PCB with a design using masking tape. Okay, that's all, guys. Those are the steps of how to edge a PCB. Thanks Thank for, you for watching. watching.